Tanakh. Shalom to everyone. Today we're learning Zerash Mishon. Parashat Lech Lecha Lera Tet Vav. In Gimatria will be 15. This sure should be a urgent Lefua Shlema to Ela Bat Miriam. She had procedure today. Hashem should give her Lefua Shlema, Lefua Danefesh, Lefua Daguf. Her son-in-law, daughter, pardon Shai Leliyahu, they're coming, they're learning, we're growing together in Torah, Hashem, with Barach, and Hashem should give the flesh and the mother of Hashem, Amen. Amen. I would like to say special thank you to Mr. Mikhail from England. Thank you for sending a check, and Hashem should give you Baracha, Atzlacha, Parnasato, Anachat, from all your family. I'll tell you, he sent me a text which gave me chills. Tzadigi Sodolam. He said, we sit together, we listen to your shiurim with my family. Uh, Hashem should give them arichud yamim veshanim. And we're very happy to hear that our voice goes far, far away. Thank you guys. Thank you, Shaila Eliyahu. You come here to support shiur every week. And gives me strength to practice. And today... I prepared some nice juicy stuff as well. This could go away. This I need. Sorry. I would like to say some nice beautiful things. And I feel there's a Mrs. Luda from Chicago also looking at us right now on Zoom. <coughs> and many, many more people. I would like to say thank you to all of you. Hashem should give you. Amen. 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 <coughs> what did I miss? Lelu Nishmat, Rav Chaim Kanievsky, Lelu Nishmat, my father-in-law, Gabriel Ben Berta, my, ma my mother-in-law's mother, Lea Lupa Bat Avigail, Gab Kol Aniftanim Aniftadot, Loach Hashem, Teni Chem, Bagan Eden, Vecheni, Latzom and Oman, Amen, Vagam, Havadach Ben Adinam, Kol Aniftanim, Vecheni, Latzom and Oman, Amen. Okay. Let it well before that I would like to share with you something nice. Yeah? Avram Avinu this week we learn Avram Avinu made himself breed Mila. Rab Michael. We would like to wish Mazalto from entire Sharanel Yao to Rav Mikhail and Esther Aminov, Grandpa de Mulo Asher. Mazalto, Mazalto with the baby boy Bezad Hashem on Shabbat. We're going to have Brit. Ah, since Sharanel Yao capacity is a little bit smaller than needed, we're going to pray in Millennium Shacharit. In 99 and 63rd, the Mordechai Shul in the back, we prayed Lord Shana Yom Kippur. And after the Brit will be right away, so with that mitzvah, everyone is invited. Rab Michael, you remember weddings in Russia? People would never give you an invitation. They would say, all of you come. This is Rab Michael. His doors are open to everyone. Be'ezad Hashem, come to support the event. Be'ezad Hashem. Hilbus Machot Be Israel Ab Michael. Bridge should be Batzlacha. This child should become big Gadol Ador. Amen. Ktom ni pamagayt. Guys, I want to wish Bridge should be in every house. Amen. This week we are learning the first Bridge in the Torah. Why it happened? Listen carefully. Those people who respect their husband and wives. Ah, now we're talking. But today's shiur will give you a little bit more tips for that. You will never in your life have a baby until there is no zuchut of your wife there. You hear me? Rabbi, Kha, Rabbi Gabriel, you heard that? I'll repeat it a second time. I'm nice. Today I'm nice. Very nice. You have a child in this world because of the zuchut of your wife. What's the proof? What's the proof? When Hashem named Avram Avinu, says Rabbi Eliyahu Akohen Meizmir, 
He says, when Hashem named Abraham Avinu, Hashem said, until now, Rabbi Avram, we're talking about your name. Hashem said, from now, till now, you Avram, and from now, your name will be Abraham. But Sarai Menu, not like this. Sarai Menu, Hashem did not name like this. Hashem said to Avram Avinu, Sarai Shema, Lotik Lashma Sarai. Do not call her Sarai. Ki Sarai Shema. Because, uh, because her name is Sarah. Sarah from when? From now or from before? Huh? From before. Where before? That's the question. Look, look what it says. Vayomer Elohim el Avraham. And Hashem said to Avraham, Sarai ishtecha lo tikra et shma Sarai. Sarai, your wife, don't call her Sarai. Ki Sarah shma. Because her name is already Sarah. I don't know, already from where? From where? End of Noah. End of Noah. End of Noah. Listen good. Rabbi Eliyahu, Hakohen Mezmir. Rabbi Gabriel, you want to come closer? I want to tell you good stuff. I love you for that. Thank you. You're the best. Huh? Huh? Yiska. Yiska from the word Ruach HaKodesh, prophecy. We'll talk about it. For now, Sarai. Why when Hashem names Sarai Imenu into Sarah, it says her, her name is already Sarah. From where? Look, three answers he gives. Answer number one from the name of Rabbi Yitzchak, Kan Ponton. That's the name of the rabbi, Rabbi Yitzchak Kan Ponton. And he said, <coughs> from that moment that Hashem said to Avram, Avraham, you are a father of the nation, means you are a king of the nation, your wife is automatically a queen. So even though right now her name is Sarai, she's already Sarah. What Sarah means? Princess. Princess. She's already princess. She's already queen. That's answer number one. Second answer. You, Abraham. You should know Sarai's name is Sarah already. Why? Because the youth of Sarai, Hashem took and split into two. Hey. Hashem took and gave to Avraham, became Avraham, and Sarai became Sarah. That hey and this hey, five, five will be ten. But really, her name, Sarai, Yud, Yud in the end, Gimatria ten, is split in half. So half goes to Avraham, half goes to her. Hashem said, Avraham. Her name was Sarah already when I named you Avraham. Do you understand? Mm. And the third answer is, the third answer is, you Avraham will have children because of her hay. Wouldn't be for Sarah you'd, you would never ever in your life would have children. So because she took, I took hay from her and I gave it to you, now you not Avram, Avraham, and now you could have child from her. This is the third answer. But I'll give you another answer. He gives from different name of different rabbi, and the rabbi's name is, I want to say it, why? Because it's important. And he says, that's my relative, Rabbi Avraham, Afomado. Afomado, that's the last name. Rabbi Leo Akwen Meizmir brings it. Afomado. And he says like this. Who knows how to write hey? He? How do you say he? 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 he. Five, five, ten. So Sarai in Gimat is 300. Resh is 200, 500. You this ten. Five, ten. Sarai, five, ten. 
But when Hashem took hay away, but if you look at that hay out letter and inside letter will be hay, hay, hay. So it remains 510 as well. So her name is still remains Sarai, even though I took the hay away, five away, the inside letter becomes five, and therefore her name is still Sarai. So from here we learned a big lesson, guys. Big lesson. Now I understand why Evan Ezer says, Sharui Bloisha, a person who's not married, blow Choma without wall, blow Bracha, no Bracha, blow Torah, blow Tova, blow Simcha. Person's not married, doesn't have all this stuff. Why? Because after you have a hay of your wife, half of Mazal of your wife in you, then you become complete. This is why Hashem said to Adam and you're not complete until I make Chava from you. Until I don't see you with Chava, you're not complete. You're not complete, there's no bracha. So my advice to you, if you are past 20 years old, in America, you want to have bracha in your life, take my advice. Do anything. Get married. Of course to proper girl. Of course girl to, who matches you. Matches your Jewish lifestyle standards. Matches you that you grow together, you know. But get married. Get married. Can you imagine the Torah you learn you don't understand? Because you're not married. Money you make, there's no parnasa. There's no bracha because you're not married. Oh, but him, 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 him. No. When you're married, there's bracha. Bracha comes when a person is married. This is my simple, humble advice. And now, he says, one line pirush. And I loved it so much. He says like this. Vegam natati mimene lecha ben. And because of, and I'm, gi I'm giving you, <coughs> to you, Abraham, from her, baby boy. Look what one line explains. Hashem said, I'm giving to you from her baby boy. Look one line what it says. Kelomar, My decree, Hashem says, that you should have baby from her. Mm. Can you imagine this? Now, I could start learning with you. Zera Shimshon. Huh? Uh, all the questions on Tuesday. <laughs> Rabbi Amin, how many times you were married in your life? One. One. Ask questions that apply to you. <laughs> I don't like to. I, I don't like to. You know. You know. In in Yushwas, if you see five thousand people, they don't sit quiet. Pick up one topic. Say, guys, I will tell you if person was married two times, with which wife is gonna get up when Mashiach comes? Like you know, that's all. That's all. This question will wake everybody up. But you know what? Keep it away from politics. I still wanna be safe. You know, there's Arizal's opinion. There's Gamar's opinion. Gamar Sota's opinion. I'm not gonna go to this. He was married, not married. If you got married, and Hashem gave you wife. If this is your first marriage, work it out. Hashem knows what he's doing. Hashem does things perfect. If person already was not that religious, didn't go, ah, who, and he got divorced and remarried second time, whatever done, done, Hashem wants it that way. But, Never go to divorce. Never. Unless, unless <clears throat> Torah scholars, Dayanim, see there's a problem. If they say, ooh, your situation, one out of a million. That's a different story. I don't come up with the spoiledness of this world and say, it's not comfortable for me. I want to go. Chas shalom. Chas shalom. Do you think about the kids? There are kids involved. What are you doing? 
I, I didn't give this Shalom Bayat class, guys. I know tomorrow 20 chairs will be flying on me. You spoke about Shalom Bayat, this, that, you know. Uh, safety is my goal, guys. Safety is my goal. Let's go. Ah. I would like to <coughs> explain to you introduction for this shiur. We will be done by 10 o'clock by Zal Hashem, 40 minutes. Bli <coughs> nether. Today's shiur is how is it important to know your value? Every person has a certain value. And if you don't know your value, it's a problem. Person should know his value. But of course, thinking I have a value and losing himself, stepping over people, that's wrong. That's wrong. He need to know your value and remain humble. Why? Because if your mission in this world to mix or take away or put something in certain place and you didn't do it, no one in the world will do it for you. Means you have to come back to this world again and do the mission yourself. One more time. If your mission was to build certain five-story building and you didn't build, Hashem says, you did not fulfill your mission, come back. But we're not talking about five-story physical building here. We're talking about spiritual world. If your mission was just to tolerate a little bit Shalom Bayat here issues, then from schools and from principals and from neighbors, just to raise one Talmud Chacham in your house, and you just gave up somewhere, Hashem says, stop. You didn't do it, you have to come back again. Why? Because that was your mission to do it. If you do not do it, nobody would do it. If Aram Amid would not bring his Avinu down to this world, nobody would be able to bring him. Aram Avinu had to come back again, and Sarah Amin had to come back again and bring them again. Do you understand? Yes. Know your value. Person knows his value as a Ben Hashem, child of Hashem, he will act different. But today we'll learn something even deeper than that. You're not only child of Hashem, but you look exactly like a twin, twin, copy, paste to Hashem. Every person is a twin of Hashem. Just go a little twin. Blizznets. Wow. Blizznets. We are twin of Hashem. Blizznets. Not only that. There's a certain Blizznets looks exactly identical twin. We're not only twins to Hashem. We're identical twins. Now, let's look inside Zed Hashem Shon. Tetvav. And believe me, this shiur will give us a little bit push, a little bit, little bit small rock improvement, how to serve Hashem better. Midrash Yalkut. In Midrash Yalkut, Shimoni says, Bega'avad rasha yidalek ani. Give me a second. One second, sorry. Begaavat Rashang, he'd like any. Because, because of the holiness, gava. How do you say in simple language gava in English? Ego. 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 Thank you. Because of the pride and ego of an evil person, 
a poor man will suffer and run away. He dalek ani. Rashi explains like dalakta acharai, running after me, means because of the ego of a evil man, a poor man will be chased away. Zelot, who is this poor man? Lot. She need pass bishvil anshe sedom. Because of people of Sodom, they were evil. They would kill their guests. Guest comes, they give doim and jewelry, jewelry, jewelry. Give me food. I need food. No food. Take jewelry. Are you more? Okay, more jewelry, more jewelry. Until he collapses and dies. Or his tall man, they give him in the hotel, nice food. Tie him up so he shouldn't run away. And then they put him in a small bed. You have to feed the bed. Sir, how do you want? Where should we cut you from? He said, okay, I ate food. Cut the legs. They would cut the legs. By the morning, you would die. Short man, they would give long bed. They say, I'm sorry, sir, you have to feed our bed. They would call the giants and would come take all the bones. By the morning, he would be dead. Like this, they would kill all their guests, all of them. Because of this ego, evil people, who was in trouble? Lot, Lot got captured. Uh, I don't understand. Why in the middle of Avram Avinu, Brid Mila, Itzchak, Sarah, ah, Lot, who needs this? Who needs to talk about Lord over here? Let's go for it. Zelot shenit pas bishvil anshe sedom. He got caught because of people's not. By the way, I would like to wish happy birthday to Miriam Maluk Chedva. She always sponsors Shalei all the way from LA. Hashem should give her bracha v'atzlacha. All her not married children should get married. And she should have many children, grandchildren, great grandchildren. Nachat from all of them. Rabbi Ilan Davidov. Happy birthday. Rabbi Ovadze Sezanaev. Happy birthday. Rabbi Yosef Munarov. Happy birthday. Who's birthday, boys? I miss somebody. Um, yeah, you also? Smartly, brother. Rabbi Islan, we're proud of you. Thank you. Just for having a big tzaddik like Eitan in our shul, he's my, right how do you say in Russian? Dusha, you know, protection of the soul. Anything, Rabbi, you need Rabbi, you need Soul guard. Tzaddik, tzaddik, thank you. Thank you, your entire family, for raising tzaddikim like him, Netan, and other ones. Thank you. Let's go for it. Guys, you should know one thing. Shaharei and Yael, proud from all of you. All of each one of you, unique. He taps up the mizimot zo, chashavu elo hashvatim ad kan lechono. Vazayid laanan pidesh. Zayid laanan explains. Zel lo chenit pas shamlachim sheva oli lachem im sedom kings. Five kings against four kings. They came to destroy the city of Sodom. Tafsu Elo Ashvatim. They grabbed all those tribes and they grabbed Mr. Lot. What has to do with this fight? War with the Lot. Tell me one thing. When when People come to war. I don't want to mix politics, but I just want to give you an example to understand. If Putin goes right now to Ukraine, I understand he wants to get Zelensky. Z what's his name? Zelensky. 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 He's not going to go to Mr. Losha, you know? Knock on the door. Mr. Losha, yeah, come over here. You're in prison. Who needs him? Who needs this guy? Nobody needs him. Why Nimrod takes kings with him to go against Saddam and he captures Lot? Who needs Lot? Oh, you look like Abraham? Stop for a second. We're going somewhere. Now let's go further. And now we could explain and answer. It says in Midrash, Shatam Sha Abraham, heavy at Sakana, Abraham Avinu. Brought himself to danger. 
כל כך גדולה, great danger, לרדוף או עם אל אז, אליעזר לבדו, או he took himself with אליעזר alone, because there's two explanations who went around to, to the war, או עם שין י"ח ילידי ביתו, או he took 318, which is גימת לאליעזר, soldiers with him. <coughs> Question is, Why would you, Abraham Avinu, run to the war and put your life in danger? You could have get killed. Why do you need to go? Tell me, in which situation is allowed to put yourself in danger? Every situation comes to your head, you have to put yourself in danger? Mm-hmm. Huh? Pikuach mm-hmm. Nefesh 1. Chilul Hashem, should you go put yourself in danger or no? Mm-hmm. Huh? Today we'll learn. Chilul Hashem? Why? Because you're worried. You are worried because of the sake of Hashem's name. And that is very important. Let's see. He's going to fight against four kings. Who just now left? No, no, who left out? I think Mikhoel's father thinks that's the Okay, okay, no problem. No, no, it's fine. Shayu kol kach chazakim. Aram Avinu goes to the war against four kings. They were mighty kings. Mighty kings. Zaya lefishaya do you can't shel lot domeli do you can't shel Avraham. Because Lot exactly looked like Abraham. Tell me one thing. Just because somebody looks like you, you're going to go to war? No. This makes sense to you? Not at all. I'm Shlomo. Because Mullah Abraham Chaim looks like me, I'm going to go to war? Huh? What is to do with your reputation? Okay, it looks like you. Big deal. <coughs> oh. And if it is him, what's the problem? Let's say it is him. What's the problem? Huh? Hashem's reputation. Tell me one thing. If somebody would put Aram Aminu in the prison, that's Hashem's reputation? Why? There's no protection. This is what said Hashem Shonis, but I want to go with you one step further. Okay? It shows as if Hashem doesn't have protection. Stop. Did Hashem ever give protection before? Where? Or Kasdim, when Avram Avinu was thrown to the fire, Hashem showed, hey, I'm behind this guy. So now, the same Nimrod wants to take Lot and complain to people that I took captured, who? That I took in captivity, Avram, and his God didn't help. I'm stronger than our God of Avraham. Do you understand? This is where it goes. So for this Hilul Hashem, Avram Avinu goes to war. Let's go inside now. Tell Kaka Chazakim, Zeh Alephi Shaya, do you can't shall Avraham? Leshalot Domele, do you can't shall Avraham? Vezeh Shamar HaKatuv, Aishma Avraham, Ki Nishba Achiv, and Avraham heard that his brother got captured. The Hainu, Achiv Bid, do you can't shall Avraham? Lot is not his brother, it's his nephew, so why Torah says brother? They will look alike. It's his brother, because they look alike. Because it looks like Abraham, that is shame to Abraham. Come on. Hamashal shel shnei achim. Hey, Tanjan. Thank you. Hashem should give you a long life. Thank you. Thank you for the tea. <coughs> Since I joined the war, I don't need to make a bracha, right? Brother's son. I really forgot. A person stopped me 
few days ago and start saying how he listens and enjoys the Rashim Shon. I forgot his name. I would like to wish thank you and Hashem should give you all bracha, tzlacha, just forgot the name. And uh, all your wishes should come true, those who listen to Zayah Shimshon and all the other shiurit Torah that you learn. <coughs> Any Torah you learn, Hashem is with you. Guys, uh, I have allergy to noise. Because in the classroom when I teach, I make sure not only boys listen, but they look at me because I like to do eye contact. So please, two minutes of your time. <clears throat> we need to concentrate something very deep coming up. There were mashal two twin brothers. When person, according to the Torah, sinned and he has to get hanged, they hang him, but he's not allowed to be hanging overnight. Why? Because it's a parable of two twins. One is simple man, one is king. So when king's twin was hanging, <coughs> people, king said, bury him right away. Why? Whoever passing by says the king is hanging. Hashem says, every person of Klal Israel is my twin. If he's hanging over there, people will say Hashem is hanging. So therefore, take him and bury him right away. It's a curse of Hashem applied here. Therefore, he has to be buried right away. Whoever sees him says, king is hanging. Same thing. Our woman says, oh, oh, Lot. Lot looks like me. If people will see Lot is in, in, a, in a guy who's Rasha Gamur went against God. Nimrod. In his hands, people will say, you know what? You know what? Avram Avinu is captured by Lot, by, by Nimrod. So therefore, it's going to be Chilul Hashem, as if Hashem doesn't protect, which is a problem. Whoever sees that Lot is in captivity, they'll say, Avram is in captivity. They will say, you know what? Avram Avinu's God is not in strength to save him. So therefore, he's stuck there. So therefore, Abraham says, I'm putting my life in danger. Why? Just to show Hashem is, how do you say, almighty. What does that mean? All the, all the strength in him. Sicilni, that's right. The most powerful. B'Shem <laughs> <laughs> And maybe they will kill Lord, and people will say, What? Avram Avinu is dead. Huh? If they kill Lord, what would people say, Rabbi Gabriel? What people will say? No, Avram Avinu is dead. So it's Khilul Hashem. Even those who know that this is Lord. Yomru, Ah, you know why Lord got captured? Because he's not tzaddik. Abraham Avinu is tzaddik. Lot is not tzaddik. Rabbi Abraham, Shalom Aleichem. Veshe Abraham gam ken. Eno tzaddik. Sh'are shavim hem bediyuk nam. Netanel. Tell me what's the problem. Okay. They'll kill Lot. They'll say he was not tzaddik. So what? So what? He's not tzaddik. So big zeal. They'll say you know what? He looks like Abraham. They're like twins. If this is the guy not tzaddik, the second one is also not tzaddik. So therefore, it does chilul Hashem to Avram Avinu. Because they look like in their images. And therefore, there's desecration of Hashem's name. Therefore, he says, you know what? I'm relying on a miracle. Even though it was over nature, above nature. How can Avram Avinu, simple guy, doesn't know how to hold the sword? Kills armies of four different kings. And they are mighty kings. Avram Avinu's miracle was, whenever he would take sand and throw, that would, throw, that would turn to what? Huh? 
Atomic bombs. What? When you took like just sand from the ground and threw it into the air. Atomic bombs. Yeah. Grenades. Whenever we would throw, they would fly. Blow, blow out. <coughs> now, if you realized in the beginning, I skipped two lines and I didn't translate it. Guys, the juice for next 10 minutes begins now. I skipped over here, it says, Zelot and it was be and Shesodom. This is Lord who got caught because of people of Sodom. He tafsu bim zimot zo chashu elo ashvatim. And because of this, thought shvatim the same idea. What happened with shvatim? What happened with shvatim, guys? Huh? What happened with Yosef Atzadik? Listen to the depth of Zera Shimshon. <clears throat> you know, you could learn Parsha for life. When you look at Zera Shimshon's view, you get the whole Parsha in your hands and things get very clear. Now, Rabbi Yaakov, I'm here. <laughs> Microphone in my hands. <laughs> With all this, to start, start the sixth year, Zerah Shimshon, Arab Michal, it's a, it's a privilege, no? It's a privilege. <clears throat> And now, it's a question on Shvatim. Yosef HaTzadik was identical twin looking like his father Yaakov Avinu. Tell me, when the brothers sold Yosef, who did they sell? Now you see the partial difference? Huh? When they were selling Yosef, Yosef said, listen, do you care about my father? You know what they mean? He means, you're not only selling me, you're selling your father. Do you care about your father's feelings? This is why when Yosef said, I'm Yosef, brothers died out of fear. Because they sold their father. Father looks like Yosef. Yosef looks like father. Now let's look inside. Guys, in Zoom, somebody said he's going to come and give somebody Pashe. <laughs> <coughs> And according to their words, they thought Yosef sinned in Ken. What did the brother say? We're selling him because he sinned. So what did they say? If he's a sinner, the father is a sinner. Tell me, if Klal Israel among Goim do not behave, what do they say? Look at the son, look at the father. Is that called Chilul Hashem? Yeah. Unfortunately. This is how terrible it goes. Ve'im yarguhu yom rushe Yaakov ne'erak If brothers will kill Yosef, they will say what? Yaakov inu is killed. Ve'nimtza shelo chashu klal lichvod avem Comes out! They didn't care about the feelings of the father. This is where the problem is. It's not only you heard your brother finish. No, you're slapping your father. You, you, you're hurting your father. This is how it's important to respect your brother, older than you or younger than you. <coughs> Keep talking, guys. It's okay. It's a mitzvah. <laughs> and because of this, the midrash says, Bega'avad rasha and the ego of an evil guy, ze, who's this? Who's reading inside? U, Rod, who was that? Nimrod. Bega'avad rasha ze Nimrod. And the ego of an evil guy, who's this? 
Nimrod, Shaya Osatmo Eloah. Why is he ego? Because he said, I am God. Vehu am Rafael, and he's am Rafael. She amar la Abraham. He said to Abraham, What? Go jump, poo. He dalek ani. The poor man will be chased away, will be suffering, will be tortured. Ze ani, who is that? Ze Lot. This is Lot. He got caught because he was in the storm. And the main sin and his ego in this war, so the fish ayah mishtabech li yod lo le eved yukno shel Avraham. The whole suffer that Nimrod got in this war because he was identical twin of Avraham Avinu. Kedichtiv, as it says in Bereshit 14, 14, you dalet, you dalet, yad, yad. Vaishma Avram ki nishba achiv. And Avram heard that his brother got captured. Ze garam she Avram yismoch atzmo alanes mechamat kidush Hashem. Def Avram Avinu is putting himself to rely on miracle to survive in Hashem's miracles, by Hashem's miracles, in order to make Kiddush Hashem. You're not allowed to put yourself in danger. You're not allowed to rely on any miracles, but when there's Kiddush Hashem, you are. We learn from Avram Avinu. Umitam shvatim Therefore, because of this, the shvatim were mistaken. Regarding Yosef, Chashvu al Yosef la Amito. They were thinking to kill Yosef. Shaya zezul gadol bichvod avihem. And because of this, it was a big, big, big. How says zezul? Shame, disgrace for their father. I want to share with you one thing. I'm saying it for the fourth time. Why? Because when I learned it for the first time, I heard it. From Rav Baruch Rosenblum, maybe a year ago, but I loved it so much. I want to say it to you, before you go to sleep today, say these four words, please. It's not easy, it's not hard to remember, but it will change your mood for night, and tomorrow you'll wake up fresh to serve Hashem better than today. In Petichad Eliyahu, we say, Achoti. Ra'ayati, Yonati, Tamati. One more time. Achoti, Ra'ayati, Yonati, Tamati. We say to Hashem, and Hashem talks about us. Achoti, my sister. How do you love your sister? It's my sister, my blood. Layati, my friend. Best friends. Yonati, my pigeon. How husband and wife love each other, like pigeon. And Tamati. Tamati. My simple, my humble one. Tamati is my simple, my humble one. But really, Zohar explains it's not Tamati. Teomati, my twin. Teomim. Hashem says you are my twin. The identical twin. When hurts you, hurts him. When painful to him, painful, painful to him. <coughs> As Hashem says, Bechol tzaratam lo tzar. In all your pain. It's painful to Hashem. Anytime hurts us. It hurts Hashem. This is how Hashem loves us. Hashem loves us. We carry Hashem's image. How we behave. How we act. It gives strength to Hashem. 
תנו עוז לאלוהים. Give strength to Hashem. What strength? Strength by making Kiddush Hashem. I will conclude the shiur as I begin. Have your value. You carry image of Hashem. Hurts you, hurts Hashem. The way you act, people think Hashem acts like this. You speak properly, act properly, do things properly, makes Kiddush Hashem. Anywhere you walk, do Kiddush Hashem. Snapple bottle will not sell inside Coca-Cola. Will sell you Snapple. When you drink, you say, wow, Snapple company is the best. We are all advertisement of Hashem in this world. Mm. The way we act, this is what they say, wow, look at this person. Look how nice. He says thank you, he says hello, he says bye. You know, he doesn't think that in the world you have to do things for him. You must to do things for him. No. He does something for you, say thank you. Anyone does something for you, say thank you. How is a doorman has to hold door for me? Nobody has to do nothing for you. Let not say thank you. When you say thank you, you say please. You act good. You make Kiddush Hashem. Hashem help us to make Kiddush Hashem. We should have more weddings, Amen. more britot, more bar mitzvot in the community. Amen. I would like to tell every one of you, thank you for coming and supporting the shul. Hashem should give you. Amen. Amen.